morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we'll be in the chapter 46 in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Chapter 46. The word of the Lord which came to Jeremiah the prophet against the Gentiles or the nations, against Egypt, against the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates in Karchemish, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, smote in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Order, order the buckler, or set in order, the, buck, the buckler, or a small shield, and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and get up, ye horsemen, and stand forth with your helmets. Furbish or polish the spears, and put on the brigadines, which is armor. Wherefore have I seen them displayed and turned back, away back? And their mighty ones are beaten down, and are fled apace, or have speedily fled, and look not back. For fear was round about, or all around, and saith the Lord. Let not the swift flee away, nor the mighty man escape. They shall stumble and fall toward the north by the river Euphrates. Who is this that cometh up? as a flood, whose waters are moved as the rivers. Egypt riseth up like a flood, and his waters are moved like the rivers. And he saith, I will go up, and will cover the earth. I will destroy the city and the inhabitants thereof. Come up, ye horses, and rage, ye char chariots, and let the mighty men come forth. The Ethiopians and the Libyans, that handle the shield and the Lydians that handle and bend the bow. For this is the day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries, and the sword shall devour, and it shall be satiate, and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up and get into Gilead and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use thy many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. The nations have heard of thy shame, and thy cry hath filled the land. For the mighty man hath stumbled against the mighty, and they are fallen both together. The word of the Lord spake to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, Neb Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite or strike the land of Egypt. Declare ye in Egypt, and publish in Migdal, and publish in Noth, and in Pahanhez, say ye, stand fast and prepare ye, for the sword shall devour round about thee. Why are thy valiant men swept away? They could not, they stood not, because the Lord did drive them. He made many to fall, yea, one fell upon another, and they said, Arise and let us go again, or turn back to our own people, and to the land of our nativity, from the oppressing sword. They did cry there, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, is but a noise. He hath passed the time appointed. As I live, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains and as Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. O thou daughter dwelling in Egypt, furnish thyself to go into captivity, for Noth shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant. Egypt is like a very fair heifer, but destruction cometh. It cometh out of the north. Also her hired men or mercenaries are in the midst of her, like a fatted bullock, and for they also are turned back, and are fled away together. 
they did not stand, because the day of their calamity was upon them, and the time of their visitation. The voice thereof shall go like a serpent, or the noise of the voice. For they shall march with an army, and come against her with axes, as hewers of wood, or as the young bulls of the stall. They shall cut, her, cut down her forests, saith the Lord, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the grasshoppers, or more numerous than grasshoppers, and are innumerable. The daughter of Egypt shall be confounded or ashamed. She shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saith, Behold, I will punish the multitude of number two, of, of No, and Pharaoh, and Egypt, and the No is the ancient Tibas, with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives, and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon and into the hand of his servants, and afterward it shall be inhabited, as in the days of old, saith the Lord. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and be in rest, and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure, or as it is right, yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. As always, I love you.